Hey everyone, my name is Evan. I'm a member of the care team here at Sawgrass, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your printer with the USB cord. So to get started here, you want to start with your printing USB support cord. Um, so you'll see that one side is USB, and this side here is what you would want to plug into your printer. So to get started here, you got to unclip a little clip on the side, revealing both the USB and Ethernet ports, and then you'll want to plug this one into the left port. So once that's nice and snug in there, you don't want to force it, just enough to where it clicks. Um, and now with the USB cord, you'll want to wait to plug this in until prompted in Print Manager. So here in Print Manager, the Add New Printer screen, we're going to select our model and our ink type. We're going to click Next. Again, with the Install uh, Printer Driver, just want to make sure that these two numbers match. If they don't, you can click Reinstall. Uh, but we'll click Next. And now we'll select USB. And now, at this screen, this is prompting us to plug in the USB cord. So now you can go ahead and plug that in. Now it should automatically detect the printer, um, and there it goes. So now that it's connected, I'm going to show you a few troubleshooting steps that you can take in case um, it's not connecting and it says not detecting and you're having issues with it. Um, so let me go ahead and open up new printer again. Let's select our model and ink again. Next, next. So sometimes if the USB isn't working, you can click on Ethernet and you can click next and add printer. So this is more of a bit of a workaround um, in case the USB is not working. So we'll click add new printer and click next. Here it'll say connect to USB cable. You can click next, next again. So it'll add the driver for you. And now it'll say waiting for a connection. And this is where you would want to go ahead and reconnect your USB cable. And so then from there, it should automatically detect. If that doesn't work, there are a few other steps that we can take in order to get you up and running again. So here we can close that. Um, so one thing to make note of is that if it is not detecting, you want to verify that your ports are working as intended, especially on your computer because USB can be finicky sometimes. Um, so to do that, you'll want to open up your device manager on your computer. From there, this new window will open up and you can scroll down until you see universal serial bus controllers. We can click the little arrow next to that. And here you should see USB printing support. If this is not here when you have the USB plugged into your computer, this means that your computer is not even recognizing that it is plugged into your computer. So that is more of a port issue and you should reach out to whoever you got your computer from or like Geek Squad or something along the lines of that in your local area. Um, but if it is showing here and it's still not reading correctly, you can right click and you'll want to do uninstall device. Let's say you're about to uninstall this device from your system, you can click uninstall. And then from there, because it's still plugged in, we can go to action and scan for hardware changes. It'll reload and then it should start to work and it should show up in your printers and scanners. Um, so if that doesn't work, we'll go to printers and scanners. Okay. And now um, it may or may not show your Sawgrass printer here. If it doesn't, you want to look under Bluetooth and other devices. From there, if you look under other devices and you see your printer, it'll say SG500 or SG1000 located there. That essentially means that your printer is being read as something other than a printer, like maybe a tablet or a phone or something like that. Um, so you can click on the device and click remove device. 
Um, from there, you would want to unplug your USB cord and then follow the same steps to see if it continues to read as a printer or if it continues to read as another device. Um, if it continues to read it as another device, then you'll want to go back and do that printing support back in Device Manager. All right, so that about covers it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.